Welcome, welcome, tips and 10. It's me again, the fashion indie. I'm gonna show you how to make a avatar with a little more shape. So I'm gonna start using um, 5.2, the new release, but I wanted to show you something about the avatars. Now you guys know I like to make my own avatars. I like to size them, but when you use the size editor, So when you use a size editor, um, you'll see that the body comes out a little bit distorted. When you start to use the USASTM measurements, I found a way to kind of maneuver and work around it. Right now, I'm showing you the uh, quick and easy download button that they've added. Well, I think it's always been there, but I think they want you to use it even more um, when you see that blue N, the blue circle with an N at the top, that is uh, for you to quickly and easily download all the content that you haven't downloaded so far. So that is a much needed improvement because usually with every release, there are new and wonderful things to download. So you guys have fun clicking that button. You don't have to go to folder upon folder upon folder upon folder to update. Uh, every little um, new addition. So N equals new and the download is complete. Great. I'm going to go to my avatar folder. I'm going to check and see. Oh, they've got a new seam line in there. This is a, again 5.2. So before I get to the uh, sizing, I'm just going to check around and see. Uh, no new stages. All the stages are the same. Um, well, I upload all of my own fabric. I did buy fabric from the Clo online store where they have different fabrics that they've pre-made for you where you can get for like two dollars or three dollars. Hangers are avatars too but they're in a different folder and right now I am organizing my folders alphabetically. Why? Who knows? Just something us ADD people like to do. So avatar. Female 2 going to give her a size. Wow, that is curvy size 20. Now, curvy size 20 is a little bit... She is the size, people, but you may want to redistribute some of her body mass. I will put it like that. In the pose folder, you can position her so that her legs are spread open a little bit more so that you can drape your garment. And then once you do drape your garment, you can um, pose her anyway. But this mainly, these poses are mainly for her to uh, be able to have things draped around her where her um, mass meets at the middle. We all can kind of relate to that. But uh, yeah, and then you can pose her any way you want with all of the other poses. So the poses that are in the plus file folder. Those poses are uh, specifically for arranging your model's garments. And the rest of the pose she uh, does fine. So, but this got me to thinking, how can we redistribute some of these measurements? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, work on giving her a size. Now she's still in that pose, even though I've changed her size to, I think it was a size six or a size eight. Uh, then I have to go back and give her the non plus, uh, non plus pose. Okay. This is where I get a little bit squirrely. I was like, wait a minute. If I apply her shape, why does she come out like she has square hips? Oh, that's the new render in your 3D window. Render preview. I must admit, when I apply the model, as you can see, her shape changes. So her, her height changes. If you can see, the short one is at 65 inches and the tall one 
is at 69 inches. So automatically she changes when you add the height. So they're putting in the height of the average woman. So I like to change it back to the height of the original avatar. That kind of gives me a little bit more of a proportion. So in order to maneuver some of these curves from the measurements that they give you, I increased her bust. So now once you increase her bust, you can see the shape automatically changes. So you increase the high hip. And you can see as soon as I increase the high hip, now her square comes back. That's not what I want. So I have to reduce the high hip and reduce the height of the high hip. Because right now I have the high hip at 39 inches in height. So I increased the distance of the inseam bringing her torso longer just to kind of balance it out. So now that her hips at her hip, her low hip is at 41 and her torso, her inseam is a little longer, meaning her torso's sorry, I said that backwards. Her torso is a little bit longer, her inseam is shorter. So still haven't found a way to get that uh what do you call that? that belly pudge out. <laughs> Some of them are more pronounced. As the sizes get bigger, they get more pronounced. So it's all a posturing thing. So you can adjust the skeleton. But here I am changing her bust and lifting her up, making her stand a little bit straighter. I'm increasing her high point shoulder to apex. That's giving her more uh, of a natural height between her apex and her shoulder line. I mean, this is some really, really like, if you want to try to get a model that has curves, these are the points you can kind of write this down that you can adjust. So now you can see that I've given her the same visual stance as the original model, but I've only, now I increased it, of course, as I'm telling myself a story here. I think 73 inches is like 6'9 or 6'11 or something crazy like that. But anyway, um, I like Amazons, Glamazons as I call them. I think I'll name her Glamazon. Um, and that's it. So I've given her some curves. I've given her a little bit of a posterior in her posture. If you adjust the torso even more, that means the height of the high hip and the height of the low hip. That will adjust your torso um, and reduce the waist. But make sure you kind of do these things in order. So the more I change her rise, the more her posterior bump, her glutes, become more pronounced as the back starts to arch back and forth. So if I go all the way down on her, uh, her rise, her butt gets a little bit flatter. And if I go up, she starts to curve a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's going back and forth here. So I don't want her to have too much of a stomach, stomach pudge, and I don't want to touch her skeleton right now. So what I am doing is just adjusting it so she can have a rounder uh, appearance. So now since I've changed her in several ways, her ankles have gotten that ankle bump, which is kind of weird to me that that even exists because no one ankles does that anyway. You know, I digress. So right now I am going back. I'm going to save her in the avatar folder. I'm going to say Fifi Glamazon. And that's going to be her name. So she's uh, 71 inches tall. And uh, add some heels to that. But I like the way her figure is a little rounded and she's got some curves and she looks more like a natural woman at a size six-ish. So that, 
belly pudge. I will show you in another video how to get rid of that. It's in the skeleton, um, in the torso of the skeleton. You could just pivot it back and forth if you can get that far and you know it. Now I changed her again. Look how flat. Oh my God. Yeah. I like it. Super flat. The super round. Like a real woman. You go, Fifi. So I'm near the end of this video. I will work on getting rid of that tummy tum. If you want to take off her underwear, you have to actually drag it. If you try to drag it to her... Uh, if you try to drag it to her body, it goes into the seam. So I don't want it to go into the seam. I want it to go into her body. So I have to drag it into the property editor. Once the, um, see, it will go into the seam if you try to drop it onto her body. But what you can do is drag it into your property editor where you see the image and that will be it. Thanks guys.